Hi, um, today I wanted to talk about the ethical and legal responsibilities that we have as student midwives and just midwives in general um, for keeping the health records and the health information of our clients safe and confidential. Um, this is such an important, crucial aspect of what we do. Um, I feel like it comes before everything else that we learn. It is very important to follow the HIPAA Act. And the HIPAA Act, what it is, is the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. Um, and that's basically keeping our clients' information safe. So ethically, we, we have a responsibility. These clients are opening up to us. They're sharing information that they expect us to keep private. As their care providers, we do not have um, the privilege or I wouldn't even say privilege, we don't have the right to share their health information. We are studying to be midwives for a reason and if a midwife or a student midwife cannot keep in compliance with this, then this is not the career for them. And this goes for any um, any type of health um, career, any type of care provider, you're not supposed to share information. So there is a huge ethical responsibility and legal. Ethically, you don't share somebody else's information. Um, it's just not right. It's not your It's not your right to do so. You are there counseling, giving suggestions, guidance. Um, They're going for you going to you for a reason. So um, it is just disrespectful on all levels to share somebody's information and private private info that should stay with you. Um, also on a legal on a legal responsibility, um, legally we are not to share anybody's information. We are supposed to keep it confidential. If we are going to share let's say midwives that are sharing with students, they do need to get compliance from the client in order to share any of their files for educational purposes. Um, if they are part of a peer review or let's say NARM for midwives, um, it is important to let the clients know and have a signature stating that they are okay with their information going to this program. Um, and it's very important to do that at the beginning before any records or anything is acquired um, so that everyone can be on the same page letting them know NARM is very confidential and they use it for statistics only but just so you know if you're okay with it um, you know so that they have access and they don't have access to the records it's just to send off statistics and it's coded by a number it's their name is not given out or anything so basically they just need to be aware if their files um, not aware. They need to have, um, they need to give you consent as a care provider if you're allowed to share with students, educational purposes. So it's very, very important for CPMs and other care providers. It is, we can get sued if we do not follow through with this. Um, it is a huge liability. Um, also just taking care of the records in general. We need to make sure if we have paper records that they are stored in a fire, fireproof um, safe that nobody can access but the care providers and students or anybody that is allowed to, to see these records. Uh, we need to make sure they're not kept on a desk or kept out in the public to where somebody could just look over and see their name or see open their records real fast. We need to make sure we are... Um, really good at protecting these files with our life. Um, also computer files. Um, if you are doing online charting, it is very important to not leave your charts open to have a your computer password protected and make sure that your computer is set up to where it's protected against hackers. It's really important. Um, so I would say HIPAA, the HIPAA, um, the HIPAA law, and just privacy in general is crucial for us upcoming midwives and midwives in general. We have an ethical and legal responsibility that we cannot take lightly. 
and we need to go through this. If we're not going through with this, we are going against everything that that is um, that is stated in the midwives model of care. And if we cannot be in compliance with that, then we should not be doing this. So um, that is my take on the responsibilities of um, keeping clients' health information confidential. Thank you.